it going or what? What's happening? Oh, there it goes. Hope that it takes a screenshot of that. All right. I changed my main graphic and then. So today we're going to be opening up a Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage uh, 12 packs. And then we're also going to be opening up next is a Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box. And this is only my second one I've opened. I've wanted to buy more, but I was kind of salty from my first find. I didn't really find anything that good. And then I also got a... How do I say this? It's a Electrifying Tackle Box. And it's a Japanese Vivid Voltage. So it's pretty much Vivid Voltage, but it's a Japanese version. So pretty much the same thing but it has 30 packs and there's only five cards in each pack and there's still a rare in each pack so it's almost like a booster box but i heard japanese cards actually you have a lot more holographics you find that's at least what i heard that could just be the new shiny v i don't know maybe it is who knows but but all right so we're gonna set these aside and I actually kind of, I almost don't even want to open this. It's such a cool box and it came in perfect condition in a bubble wrap. I feel lucky. I'm definitely keeping the box, I can tell you that. And so there's a promo card. It's like a special promo card. And it, it's Gigantamax Pikachu. And it actually looks like that. And has its hands up and it's a $160 card. And I guess it's like 50 bucks if you get it in Korean. But there might be a promo pack that's in this and in that promo pack I could find it but I heard it's really rare to find but I feel like I'm gonna be lucky today I have a feeling about it I at least have a feeling about the vivid voltage and the champions path I don't know about this one I just don't know yet so I don't really have any any type of uh, prediction yet so All I know is I have a prediction that I'm getting a, at least I'm getting the, the VMAX Pikachu in this one. I don't know what I'll get. And then also with the Japanese, so I actually have on two ma monitors, I have the whole series because I'm kind of new. I haven't really, I haven't really learned all the Pokemon yet, like all the new ones at least. I know all the old ones from the original and the jungle pack, but I have it open so like I can see it by number. So every time I'm gonna do a, the Japanese one, I'm gonna look and find the number. But oh well, we're we're not we're doing that last. So that's gonna be, take a while. It's 30 packs of five, so 150 cards. I'm gonna have to either remember that Pokemon's name or look it up. But so here we go. Let's open up our first Vivid Voltage, and I think I fixed my mic so it doesn't go over because of the crinkling. <laughs> But yeah, so this one is going to be the first one we're going to open. And I just have a good feeling about these. I don't know which one has the Pikachu in it, but I'm guessing it's one of these. I just have a feeling, man. I just, the last time I got the Pikachu, I just had a feeling and I found it. So, but I did not find the rainbow one. So there's that, but oh, well, man, I can't open it. All right, here we go. Open up the first pack. And I'm pretty pumped because the guy that worked at the store, he uh, opened a brand new pack for me. So I'm pretty excited that I got a new pack and didn't get one that was already taken out of like they had there. I don't know if that's going to be more luck or worse luck. Who knows? But all right. So the first one we have is a Might Yina. And we have a Matang. And a trainer. It's a widened stadium. And a leaf energy. A Poochina. And a Rock Rough. And a Blitzel. And we got a Skiddo here. And nope, it's not the reverse yet. We have a Feral Seed. See, I'm starting to get the names down. 
and the reverse is going to be a feral thorn so it's the evolution of the feral seed so that's kind of cool and it has a swift swing as its attack only does 30 damage so it's not very damaging but we'll see what we got for the rare i don't know what we got but feel like it could be something good all right so what do we have oh already we're starting off with a zerud v awesome and zerud v has a bind down and jungle rising now i think i got this one but i think i got it in uh i think i got it in champion's path if i'm not mistaken i don't remember though but yeah that's a really cool card so I, first pack i find a really cool card that's a great start and I think I already got a Feral Thorn or a Feral Thorn before. Not sure. And that one is not a rare. That's a great way to start, though. Already starting off and having a holographic. And that's a great start. <laughs> and I'm back. I'll just throw them on the ground. All right, let's open up the next pack. Let's see if we can keep that luxury going. Nice, I did get it. I got it so that it doesn't overdo my mic whenever I open these packs. Or it kept like sounding it out pretty much. Um, put these over here. Let's just hope we continue that. It's already one holographic. And I cannot remember. I know I got a Zerud V, but I don't know if I got the one from Voltage. I don't know. All right. So the first one we got is a trainer. It's an Alistair. And a Jerafrig. And another Matang. And another leaf energy, huh? And we have a sandile, a whalemer, and weedle, beldum, a fan pea. Oh, and our reverse is a sand sandile, yep. Yeah. So reverse is a sand dial. And I think I've gotten that one before. I don't know. Pretty sure I did. And that one definitely is not a rare. It's a common. And let's see. What is our rare going to be? Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, it's a Galarian Peer Seeker. It is a non-holographic. And he evolves from a Galarian Meowth. And its attacks are Steely Claws and Claw Slash. Oh well, yeah, that's the rare I got in this one. Nothing special there, but we did start out with a, a really good card to start out with. I don't even know, the last time I got 16 packs, I don't know if I even got any holographics in it. I don't remember. But our second one isn't a lucky one. All right, let's test our third. And I'm opening one of these. And I might might show the codes, I don't know yet, but I might want to save them for my my young cousin, I don't know. Last time I just showed them to everyone. <laughs> and I showed them like too early because I guess it shows what rare you have or something. I didn't know that. So my first card is a Gagot. And a Galvantula. A Sableye. And we got a Lightning Energy. 
A Golarian Meowth. That guy's popular. A Cottony. A Arrokuda. A Ninkata. A Picky Peck. And our reverse is going to be a Trainer League Staff. And that one is not a rare. That one's a common. And that's a supporter card. And pretty much you draw two cards if... I can't read it. If... Widen Stadium is in play. Draw two more cards. Okay, well, that's what that one is. All right, so let's see what our rare is going to be. Come on, please. Just give me a Pikachu once. Even if it's a normal Pikachu, I'm fine with it. But what would be the chance I'd, I get like 12 packs and actually get a Pikachu? That'd be crazy. And our rare is going to be a B Drill non holographic. And he obviously evolves from Kakuna. And his ability is Elusive Master, and his attack is Sharp Sting. This is my second one of the Beedrill. I know for a fact I did get it in this actual uh, series, so. My second one. Oh, my help with dude. Why are they upside down? I don't know why they're upside down. What the? Weird. I don't know why those are upside down. All right, so let's open up our next pack, and this one's going to be a Pikachu. One. Oh, read it on my sound. Really? How do I fix that? That's not. I don't know how how it's not working. I have like a sound thing that actually like is supposed to suppress the sound and not let it get to a certain volume, but I guess it doesn't want to work. All right, so we got a trainer opal and a D Watt, uh, another Sableye, and a famous energy card. A Drillbur and a Oshawott and a Dust Skull, a Pharaoh Seed, a Riolu, and a Reverse. Come on, be something cool. It is a Joltik. And a Joltik has a Bug Bite as its attack, and it is not a rare. I haven't found a single... I feel like I don't find a lot of rares in, in Vivid Voltage, like when it's the reverses. I found a lot in the... Um, what is it? Darkness of Blaze booster box I got. Alright, so let's see what our rare is. Come on, baby. It is a non-holographic, a Flareon. And he evolves from Eevee. Its ability is Incandescent, Awakening, and Fire Main. And I think this is actually my second one again. I've gotten two of these so far. It would have been nice if that was a holographic. Damn, we started out good, and now we're hitting a wall. And these packages are still upside down. Fuck <laughs> my life. All right, come on. All right, here we go. So how many have I done? I've done four, so this is the fifth. I'm almost halfway there already. I'm getting too fast at opening these is the problem. I wish I could have bought a booster box, but I wanted a variety instead of just Vivid Voltage like booster box. And they did have them, but Right now, they're having them for freaking $140 at the Pokemon card shops. Kind of, it's a lot of money because it's full retail, so kind of wait until it goes down a little bit. All right, 
We got a trainer. It's Mumu Cheese. And Kakuna. Matang. Fire Energy. A Clobblepus. A Woobat. A Taylao. Oh, a Charmander. Don't get him very often. And a Whooper. And a reverse is an Executor. Or Executor. And that is a rare. I know for a fact that's a rare. And an Executor has Head Crack and Solar Beam. And it evolves from Execute. Or it's Executor. But yeah, I think that's my second one, so... All right, so what does that mean for my next card? Is it a good pack where it's like a, a rare one where it's like double? Okay. It's a holographic? Nice. A Dialga. A Dialga. I ha I've gotten this one. It rewinds time and has Flash of Destruction. It doesn't evolve from anyone. And this is like a normal holographic. Kind of hard to see on camera, the guy. I think I got this one. I remember it because it was, oh, I can see him. It's hard to see him though. But that's two rares in one thing, so. Eggs, X, egg, cutor, yeah. Hey, I got two rares in one. But, dude, I started off and I got like a holographic to start off, and then now I'm just striking out. <laughs> so. And I wonder, like, if there was like a secret rare, rare in that box, or if it was like, or if there was anything like that in that box. I should have just tried to weigh all the packs, but then I think the guy would have caught on to that and been like, dude, what are you doing, man? All right, let's open up the next pack. And now I'm actually halfway. But it was either this or buy the the Elite Trainer Box for Vivid Voltage. And the Elite Trainer Box is $50. So why wouldn't I just buy 12, 12 booster packs? I mean, people were saying online that you're not in those uh, Elite Trainer Boxes. You're not guaranteed anything. It's not like a box. Like... It's not like a box though, dude. Because boxes, they, uh, you're guaranteed a certain amount of like really rare cards. And I guess in elite trainer boxes, you're not. But, but in the champion's path though, I think that there's a different guarantee. I think it's different. All right, so we got Trumbeak. Oh, what? Adele Mize. I thought that one was a rare one. It's not. Uh, Shuckle. Energy card. A Rock Ruff. And a Blitzel. Skiddo. Uh, another Pharaoh Seed. And a Dedeen. Looks like a little hamster. And our reverse is... Ooh. A Tornadus. And a Tornadus... Tornadus is a rare card. He has Jet Draft and Air Slash. Yeah, I've got, I have not gotten that one. That one's a cool one. Alright, so let's see what we got next. Come on, baby. Please give me something good. Come on. For the love of God. Just give me that Pikachu, dude. I'll, I'll literally stop buying Vivid Voltage if I get that thing. I swear. All right. Oh, my God, dude. You've got to be kidding me. So, that's a full art Pikachu. This thing's worth 40 bucks, Jeff. Oh, my God, dude. That is freaking awesome. That's a good pull. And it has Charge and Thunderbolt. But yeah, this is the full art one, dude. 
Oh, I can't believe I pulled that, to be honest. So now I've got $80 worth of Pikachus. That was definitely a good one. I'm putting this one in the case instantly. Damn it. <clears throat> that was a good one because I got two really rare ones in one freaking pack. Dude, I'm pumped about that one. I know that one's hard to find. How crazy would that be if I found the, the other one? Found this one and I found the other one. At least I found some Pikachus worth some money. I could tell kind of. Yeah, the rare verse is something I've never, I've never seen that one. So I don't know how much it's worth. All right. See, Jeff, I told you that these packs felt heavier. <laughs> I was not imagining stuff, but I thought for sure, I mean, you can't really tell. I thought for sure that might have been the rainbow Pikachu, but I bet you I'm going to find the rainbow Pikachu in the, the Japanese one. And if I do, dude, it's still worth $600, even Japanese. So, kind of cool. It keeps its value. Yeah, I would have started earlier, but at my house, they're trying to cook me. So they're freaking, the heat's like constantly on. So I got a trainer, a league staff, and a Swellow, a Galvantula, energy card, and a Talo. Didn't I just get that one or it's an evolved, evolved one? Uh, Sand Dial. A Oshawott. A Pinaco. I think last time I said a Pinaco or something on accident. And a Clefairy. And our reverse is going to be a Lugia. Nice, that card's actually worth money, dude. So that's cool. And a Lugia has a gust and wind pressure, and that is a rare. I wonder if that's the same one. I don't think that's the same Lugia I have. I think that's a different one. I think it's a different version from a different, different set. Dang, dude, that'd be crazy. This is the second, second one in a row if I get two rare cards or two like holographics. All right, come on, come on, baby. Please, just let me have it. Please. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? Is this real? It's not, it's not the rainbow one. But dude. I found the art and a Pikachu VMAX. And it has GMAX Volt Tackle. Dude, this is crazy. Oh my god, dude. How did I find two? Oh my god, dude. That is so cool. Dude. What if I find all three of them in here? Uh, what is happening? How is this possible? Dude? Oh my god, dude. Dude, that means that I might be able to find it. I literally just found... Oh my god, dude. Please, dude. This would be... It would be like... I can make a clip of it because it'd be like... The most rarest find. In 12 packs, I found all three of the Pikachus. Dude, it would get millions of views. I swear to god it would. I still have a bunch of packs left. I have... Five packs left, dude. Oh my god, please, for the love of god, let me get that rainbow Pikachu. It would literally make it so I can actually have this be my thing where I actually do it. It'd be so awesome to do this as like a job. And just like, get Pokemon, open up Pokemon, do giveaways. 
and do some of those special ones where I get special packs and then people pay to have me open them. That'd be so cool, dude. It'd be super nerve wracking, especially if it was like in front of like a famous YouTuber or something. Man, I got to get the other Pikachu. I have to, dude. I have to. If I get all three Pikachus, dude, I'm gonna freak out. I can't believe I got two of them. I've never seen that full art. I still have four packs left. All right, so we're gonna start off with a trainer, a Moo Moo Cheese. And Jeff, what's super addicting, is so weird, is the smell of brand new cards. I don't know, man. It's, I don't know if that's weird or if that's normal. I feel like they make them smell a certain way so that they just like make you, they like addictive properties to the smell. And a, a Jurafrig? I don't know if that's true. Trainer bit a uh, bay. Or wait, B? Is it B or Bay, Jeff? You know? And a water energy uh Beldum. Man, I thought for sure that was the rainbow one too. It looks different than my other one. I need to make sure and look because it definitely looks different. A Melseri? Why can't I see your... Can't see what you're saying. A Whooper? A Nincata? A Wismer? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. And a Reverse is going to be a Voltorb. And that one is not a rare. That one's a common. And let's see, what is our our rare card going to be? It is a Jolteon non-holographic. And Jolteon evolves from Eevee. And its ability is Thunderous Awakening and Electric Ball. Pretty much similar to the other one. And I have gotten this one before. I wonder if my luck has run out with those, those two I got. Well, I guess we'll find out, man. All right, so let's move on to our next pack. Come on, just let me get the rainbow one. I wonder if there's a promo pack in my, um, promo pack in my, uh, my Japanese booster box. Because it's supposed to come with it. The guy that had the Korean one was saying that his came with it. And I'm not sure why mine... Why mine wouldn't. I think I ordered another one. So I think the other one would for sure at least. So at least I'd get one of them. And we're starting off with a Aromatic Energy. A Crocker Rock. A trainer league staff. Energy card. A C dot. A picky peck. A mud bray. A joltic non reverse now. A weedle. And our reverse holographic is going to be a C dot, a non rare card. All right, let's see what our rare is going to be. A Lycan Rock, non holographic. And Lycan Rock evolves from Rock Ruff and has Rock Throw and Sharp Main. I do have that one though. I don't get it, dude. These things are all upside down. No, I'm flipping them upside down. Okay, because it's upside down. So, I only have three left now. Three more chances at getting some more really rares. All right. And here we go. Here's our next pack. Come on. Two more chances. 
I should have bought the whole box, man. Now I regret it. Because if I found these in it, dude, imagine what else I would have found in the box. I mean, seriously. How's that damn bug alive, dude? There was a, a freaking uh, fruit bug in my damn room, dude. And I freaking... I backhanded it and it's still alive. All right, uh, Trumbeak. A ping, Pinkerton. And a Charmeleon. And with this one, dude, they do not have a uh, energy card. They do not have a... Uh, Charizard, so. Sandile. A Oshawott. Pinnaco. And a Clefairy. Tynamo. And our reverse is going to be a Snorlax. And that is a rare. Nice. Awesome. It's a rare, and its ability is to Gormandize. And its attack is the Body Slam. 100 attacks is pretty high. But yeah, I've gotten a Snorlax, but it was a holographic, so... That's pretty cool. So this would actually be my third one, where I got a rare reverse, and then I got, like, a holographic or something. So come on, let's keep this, this trend going. Oh, there we go. A holographic. A Tornadus. Did I already get that one, Jeff? A Tornadus. Or a Tornadus. It has Jet Draft and Air Slash. And it evolves from nothing? I can't remember if I got this one or not. Looks pretty cool. Looks like some type of Roman Pokemon or something. I only have two more packs to go. Two more packs to go for me to get three of the Pikachus. All right. Here's our next pack. I only have two left, so there's only two left. My chance of... I want to get all three, man, but I don't know. I don't see that happening. It'd be crazy, though. I'd have to clip that and... Make like a short video or something of it. All right, so let's see. We are starting off with a Mag Cargo, a Swoobat, Hitmon Top. I bet you'll find a Hitmon Chop in here. An energy card. A Skiddo. Shuppet. A Feral Seed. And we have another Joltik. And our reverse is going to be. It's not a reverse yet. A Sandile. I felt like it was the end of the pack. And our reverse is going to be a Rock Rough, a non rare. I've had really good luck with like if I have two rares or like a rare reverse and then whatever my next card is. Let's see. So our next card is going to be. Oh, it's a Colossal V. Nice. So it is a holographic. Weird. I could not tell that's, that's what that was in the back. And Colossal V has a Searing Flame and Boulder Crush. Is that a, is that a full art? That's not a full art, is it? I can't tell if it's a full art. I don't think so. But I have gotten this guy. I've gotten this guy in Ultra Rare, and then I've also gotten him in... Uh, um, I don't remember if I got it with a V. I don't think so. But I only have one pack. So, at least I only have one pack of Vivid Voltage. But I still have... The champion's path, and then I still have the the Japanese vivid voltage, which would be crazy. And it's our last pack. I should have bought more packs. I always feel like when I go home, I always regret 
Not buying more, but what can you do? If the voltage is actually a decent price right now, not full price, I probably would have, but $140 per box right now. And this is our last vivid voltage. And I just feel like there's no way I'd find the, the rainbow Pikachu, but I guess you never know. All right, we're starting out with the Escadrill. A Crocker Rock. A Nessa Trainer. Energy card. A Milseri. A Gol Golarian Meowth. A Chimecho. That's a weird one. It's like a bird, but it's like made out of yarn. A uh, Blitzel. And a Slugma. And I'm pretty sure about the reverse. Come on, we just need we need a reverse that is a a rare, and then usually I've had it so there's actual like holographic behind it. So our reverse is going to be a Clefairy. Is that a rare? No, it's not a rare. Oh, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. And our last of the vivid voltage is Oh man, a Mudsdale. A Mudsdale is a non-holographic and it evolves on Mudbray. It has Mud Bomb and Heavy Slam. Oh, we didn't end it off with a holographic. But I will go through what I found though. Keep making these upside down, dang it. But that is my last one. Let's see. Let's go through what we found. I'm only gonna show rares. Oh. On it? I don't wanna. These are so slippery. Ah. Oh, come on. All right, so let's go through and see what I found. So I found a Zarud V. And I can't remember if I have this one or not. I can't remember. I know I have one, but I, I swear it's a different series. I don't know, though. And then I found a Golarian Peer Seeker. And a Beedrill, my second one. And a Flareon. And I found a Reverse Holographic. It is a Tornadoes. Didn't, oh yeah, I found the Holographic of this. I was right, Jeff. So it was, it is a different variation of that one. And I found a Eggs Guitar or Executor. And then I found a Dialga. This one's kind of hard to tell what it is. I wonder, maybe you can see it. The head's like off to the, the left. That one's a holographic though. And a Lugia. I know this guy's actually worth a decent amount of money. And I got another Jolteon. This is my second one. Oh, darn it. They stuck together. And then I got a Lycanroc. That's my second one, too, that one. And then I've never gotten this guy, the Tornadus guy. Now, this one's the holographic, so the other one was the reverse. So that's kind of cool. Two variants of it. And then I found a Colossal V. And I don't think this is a full art. I don't think it is. And then I found a Reverse Snorlax. And this is only in 12 packs. It's pretty crazy. And I found a Mudsdale. And what's pretty crazy is what I found after this. First, I found a Pikachu V Max. And I'm pretty sure that's not the rainbow version. At first, I thought it was it, though. And then I found a full art Pikachu V. 
I know that card's worth 40 so that's $80 worth in one box. Or in 12 packs, so I spent... I spent 52, so... I actually made my money back for once. <laughs> Which is awesome, finally. Usually you, like, lose money on... On all these packs. So... Let's see, I'll have to set the cards aside and everything, and then we'll move on to the champion's path. I have a feeling I'm going to find a Charizard, even if it's the rainbow one or the normal one. I mean, if I got that lucky with 12 packs, I'm probably going to get that lucky with 10. I swear those are supposed to have, like, more of a chance of getting holographics. I swear, that's how it works. I could be wrong. Man, I was hoping that I'd find all three of the Pikachus. It'd be like the craziest video ever. I wonder if I would have gotten all those packs if I would have found them all. I seriously wonder that. I always wonder that because I didn't actually buy them. All right. And here we go. Here's the champion's path. And you can tell that this thing has never been opened, which people are always worried about that. You would definitely, I feel like you'd definitely be able to tell. All right, let's open it. Oh, I might need scissors. They don't make that shit easy to open. Fantastic. Nothing happened. No one saw that. Better not hurt that Pikachu. Now I have two of them. Chimaco? It's not Chimecho? Alright, let's open it. So this will be my second one of these I've opened. I definitely want to save the box. And the first thing it comes with a Champions Path player guide, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a Champions Path player guide. I don't remember the the graphics. All right. And let's see what else comes with it. And a Pokemon trading card game rule booklet. And comes with different playing pieces. And it's all in the Champion's Path style. I'm definitely going to keep all those. And then let's see. And then I don't know what these are. It also comes with these. I don't know if they're like dividers for your Pokemon, like when they're in the top loader cases. I don't know what those are. Jeff, do you know what those are? I've never known what those are. Let's see. Yep, they've definitely not been open. I can tell for a fact. How's it going? I'm just opening the Champion's Path. It also comes with 40 sleeves. And these are really good sleeves. You can put like holographics in them and everything and they'll stay safe. And then it comes with the free codes. And then it better come with my Charizard. It also comes with the, the free Charizard V that comes with it. And this is actually the only holographic Charizard I've ever found. <laughs> so it doesn't really count, but I'd say it counts. I do want to put this in the case, though. What do you do with those? 
This better not be the only Charizard I ever find. That's for sure. Putting this in the case because I know for a fact this could be worth something someday, maybe. Even though it's a really uh, common. Because all you have to do is buy the Champion's Path to get it. And it also comes with a bunch of energy cards in case you need some of those to play. And the real part comes where we open them and see if we got anything. And it only comes with 10 packs. And the cool part is I know for a fact these haven't been opened. I know tons of people order them from Amazon or order them from online and they're open. These actually I can tell no matter what, definitely or not. So let's see, this is gonna be my first Champion's Path booster pack. I've only opened this once, so I don't know what I'll find. I hope I find at least some new ones. I don't remember the order for this one, so if I mess it up, I'm pretty sure it's the same. I'm pretty sure it's it's uh, four, but I'm not sure. One, two, three. Yeah, a lot of people have been getting like scammed online where the people like weigh all the packs and then they open them and send you, um, they send you like another card and replace it and that kind of stuff. So we're starting off with a Sharpedo. And the heat's on now, damn it. And a Malamar. That's a weird looking one. A Trainer Piers. Energy card. Is it really? Oh no. Uh, trainer Pokeball. A Nicket. You might be right, that might be what happens. Like people, they expect to just get a Charizard or something in their first box and then they're like, oh, these have been open. They've, they've been messed with. I can see that happening. People don't get how, there's a reason that card's worth $600 or both of them are worth so much money. And a Hatina, it's worth so much money because no one can find it. A Swablu, what the heck is like Cloud Arms? That's a weird one. Scraggy. And do, I wonder if these come with a reverse holographic. Oh, they do. Okay. And a trainer, a team yell grunt. And that one's definitely not a rare. All right. Let's see what our first rare is going to be. Is it going to be a holographic or non-holographic? It's a holographic. Nice. That's a good way to start. It's a trainer, Marnie. And I actually have her. I think I have her from Vivid Voltage or, or a different set. And Marnie, each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. If either player puts any cards on the bottom of their deck in, in this way, you draw five cards and your opponent draws four cards. Hey, it's a good, good way to start. It's a holographic to start out, even though it's not exactly the one I'm looking for, but... At least I'm starting out with the holographic. Now I have two. Now I have two that are from different sets. I don't know if I'm gonna put that one in case. I don't think that one's worth a lot, but could be wrong. All right, let's open up our second pack. I was examining the packs before I even tried to open it because just making sure there wasn't any like suspicious things going on. All right. So it is four. Yeah, so you're not like promising a an elite trainer box for Champions Path, like at least getting some rares. And the first one is a Malamar. I thought for sure like maybe you were promised more or like at least a better chance. A trainer hyper potion. But I know for a fact in the vivid voltage it's not true. And a trainer at the suspicious food tin. Huh. I've never seen that one yet. I know that one's a secret rare. Uh, Go Golarian Zigzagoon, that one's not that I got, but you can get that one in super rare. A Weedle. 
a pure loin, a trainer pokeball, a inke, and a reverse is another trainer. It is a Milo reverse. And that's a support one. All right, let's see. Come on, give me another hollow. Nice. A Hatterene. So it's another holographic. And Hatterene evolves from Hatterum. Its ability is a hazard sensor and attack is a life sucker. Does 100 damage. You know, I actually, I definitely know for a fact I got this one already. I need to flip these the other way. So I haven't gotten a rare reverse yet. I mean, that's what? Turn it and then flip these the other way. That's two holographics in a row. I don't know if they're like guaranteed or not. It's not a bad way to start. Oh my god. <laughs> And our next pack, I drop flat, so no judgment. Hands are like, doesn't help that it's like 90 degrees in my damn room. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> my roommate wants to cook me to death. I swear. I usually have my air conditioner on, but I can't because it's way too loud. And that's all you'll be able to hear in the background when I speak. So definitely not trying to have that the other thing. But alright, so our next card is going to be a Machoke. That's not a rare? I haven't gotten this one, a Machoke. And a trainer. It's a bidet. It's or a bead. How do you say that, Jeff? I don't know how to say that one. A bidet? I always think it's bidet. I don't know if that's right at all. A Arbok. Energy card. A Inke. And a Roly Coley. A Sizzlepeed. A Pure Loin. And we're not at the reverse yet. A Scraggy. What the heck is that thing, dude? That's the weirdest one I think I've ever seen. And a reverse is going to be a pure loin, a non-rare. And we'll see what our rare is going to be. Ugh, come on, please be. I wonder, I know there's like two Charizards, right? I'm not mistaken, there's like two in this set. Come on, please be the ch that, that Charizard or one of them. Come on. Please, for the love of God. Oh, you mother... A Gardevoir V. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm not saying that. A Gardevoir V has magical shot and a swelling pulse. I think this one's only worth like two bucks or something. It's a cool looking card. Don't get me wrong. I'll definitely put that in like a harder case. Yeah, you see that? That's that's what? That's uh, three holographics in a row. So you got to be guaranteed all holographics in this because that's three in a row. Could be wrong. I don't know. Oh, I'm just super lucky so far. I'm trying to take this slow. And our next one. The one that's going to be really hard is the Japanese one. <laughs> Because I don't really know all the Pokemon, and it's in Japanese, and I don't speak Japanese. I have all, like, the Pokemon for that Japanese set in front of me on my computer screens. But I'll have to look at the number and then read off what it is. Won't be that bad. Oh my gosh, dude. This one is, like, glued shut. Oh, jeez. Why was that one so hard to open? And Oh my... Dude, this one does not want to open. What is going on with this one? 
Holy shit. It'd be nice to finally find like and actually make money. The vivid voltage, I got eighty dollars worth of cards, so and I only spent fifty two, so that's the first time I think I've I've ever made my money back like that. And the first one is a trainer, it's a Rotom bike. I know there's a drone Rotom. Now there's a Rotom bike? And a Arbok. Another one of those guys. A Victini. I haven't seen that one yet. Energy card. A Carvana. Fish. Another Swablu. Oh, a Vulpix. I like seeing ones that I, I know they're from like the original sets. And a Trubbish. A Rock or a Roly Coley. And our reverse is going to be a Zygrade. Or a, wait, what? Or a Zygardi. Or Zygarde. Sorry, Zygarde. And it doesn't evolve from anything. It has Bite and Power Blast. That one is a rare. Huh. I've never seen that one, that's for sure. A Zygarde. Huh. All right. Let's see what our rare is. And it is a Machamp. And that one's a holographic. And a Machamp evolves from Machoke. It has Macho Revenge and Dynamite Punch for its attacks. Dang, 200. Wow, those are pretty, pretty badass attacks. And I got a Machamp, but I don't know if the Machamp I got is this one or from a different set. I can't remember. It, I think this one looks different. I could be wrong. I don't know. But that's pretty good. Two rares in one, in one uh, thing. I was hoping like maybe I'd get one of those God packs that are like a rare uh, or like all of them are rares. Yeah, I appreciate you watching. I think the Japanese one's going to be fun to watch because supposedly the Japanese ones are supposed to have a lot more holographics like this like where it's like everyone has a holographic seems like that's what's happening with this pack or i'm just super lucky i don't know even though they're not like something rare yet but yeah i have videos i'm gonna release i i open like three different booster boxes and then open a bunch of the random packs you can get I swear, sometimes you feel like you feel like a one that's a rare and it turns out not to be. It's just like in your head. And a tra trainer, it's a Milo. Never could really tell. Sometimes it seems like it is. Uh, now it's a trainer, it's a Rotom phone. Yeah, I had to sell a bunch of stuff just to be able to buy these so I could open them. A trainer team yell grunt. It's, it's stuff that I've had that I wanted to sell for a while and it just gave me more motivation to do it. And a energy card. I just hate selling stuff on OfferUp though, or, or Craigslist or those kind of things. A pure loin. It's never as bad as you think, but now with the, the coronavirus, it's so much worse. A Galarian Lanoon. And another Sizzlepede. A Hatina. Are we at the reverse already? Nope, not yet. Uh, Nicket. And a reverse. I wonder if there's a... Oh, it's an energy card. That's kind of cool. I think I've gotten this. I feel like it's deja vu. Like I'm getting the same ones that I got before. Come on. Give me something different at the end. Something new that I don't know what it is. And it is a Lucario V. I actually was about to buy this today. So that's kind of cool. I didn't. And the Lucario V has a Aura Spear and a Beatdown Smash. I was actually going to buy this today, so that's kind of cool that I found one. I did not find this one yet. It was the first time I'm seeing this. And a 
put that one in the case. Darn it. I just don't want it to bite out. Oh, it's writing out. Oh, well. I'll put the energy in one, too. Yeah, Pokemon are not cheap, man. Especially, like, Vivid Voltage and all that stuff. Like, they're charging so much more than it's worth. It's kind of messed up. $140 per box right now. On Amazon, you can find for $120, but that's still not cheap. It's just kind of messed up. They need to do something where they fight the people that are, are like, scalping everything so that we don't have to pay these crazy prices. And we can just... And then the worst part is the people scalping them are opening the packs and replacing them with cards that aren't worth as much. That's the most messed up part about it. And with these, I couldn't tell that was a holographic, so who knows? I could find a Charizard, and it could be in the back, and I wouldn't even know. Because I can't tell. But that's a bunch of holographics in a row. I don't know. I feel like Jeff, like... I feel like this one just comes with all these holographics. I haven't found a single non-holographic yet. Oh my lord. Am I just that weak? from not working out because of COVID. <laughs> Definitely need to start working out. Definitely not going to the gym, that's for sure. One, two, three, four. Not exposing myself to the virus just to work out, that's for sure. Maybe I'm paranoid, I don't know. A team yell grunt trainer. And a trainer at Pokemon Center lady. And another trainer, a great ball. Was that three trainers in a row? What the heck is going on in this pack? Energy card. I don't think I've ever gotten three trainers in a row. A Golarian Lanoon. And a Scraggy. A Roly Coley. A Nicket. And a Ekans. And are we at the reverse? We're at the reverse. It is a trainer. It's a turf field stadium. And that one is a non rare reverse. And we're on to the reverse. What do we have? I don't even know. I wish I had a thing to see. If I could see what the the dang, uh, whatchamacallit looks, I'd be able to tell, but, all right, I don't know what, what this one is, it is, oh my god, I'm gonna freak out, you've gotta be kidding me, I'm freaking freaking out, dude, there's no way, Jeff, oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me, a Charizard VMAX, and this is the one that's worth 600 freaking dollars, oh my god, I'm freaking out, I can't believe that's real. I'm putting this in there as safe as possible. Oh my god, dude. There's no shot. This is real. Oh my god, dude. Sorry about the sound. There's no shot. This is the one that, that's $600, right? Oh my god, dude. I found the two Pikachus in the other one. Now I found this. I can't believe this. I have, this is my first rainbow card. I've never found a rainbow card. So this is my first one. Oh my God, dude. The sucky part about me is I'm a collector, so I'm not gonna sell it. That's my problem. I don't know if that's a problem or if that's a good thing. Probably a bit of both. So is, what are the chances I find the other cards are now? Slim? I still have four packs left. I can't believe this is real. This is the first time I've ever found cards that make up for how much I'm spending. That's probably a bad thing because it's gonna make me wanna buy more. I don't know if that's bad or good. Probably a bit of both. Jeff, are you still here, right? Please tell me Jeff is still here. God. 
God, man. Jeff missed that. I swear. I, you know, I could not figure out what that was. You see, like, I guess I'm really good at holding them now because I could not tell what that was. Like, I thought it could have been a V. I didn't know that was a V Max, though. Oh, my God, dude. If I'm this lucky, dude, I could find another Charizard. This 100% is a, is a box that's not tampered with. That's for sure. I've gotten a holographic in every single thing I've pulled. I don't know if that's normal. You know what's funny? Listen to this. So there was a guy in front of me that was going to buy this pack. And he's like, no, 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 never mind. I just don't, I don't want this one. I don't feel like it's lucky. Can I please have another one? And then the guy kept on his hand on it. And that's the one that he gave me is this one. Oh my God, dude. I had a feeling. I was like, I was like, you know what? That guy is an idiot. I feel like there's something going on with this pack. I just had a feeling I was going to find a Charizard, and I did. And I also had a feeling I was going to find a Pikachu VMAX. And the only sucky part is, like, I did say that in my description, but I don't know what I have in that. I don't know what comes in those. So I don't know if I'm going to get lucky with that one or not, or what, what's going to happen. So a Malamar. I have no clue what's going to be in that. The Japanese one. That one's gonna be a hard one. A Hatterim, because I have to look up hat or hat rim, hat rim. A Victini and a Energy card. I just can't get over this. A Swablu. Oh, okay, this <laughs> And a Machop. A Golarian Zigzagoon. And a Vulpix. A Rock Ruff. And a reverse is a Malamar. And that is a non rare. Man, three packs left. Dude, I need I need one of these to be the, the Charizard because Imagine how many views that would get. I mean, I could be just a mad. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking that would get a lot of views and it wouldn't. Maybe someone's already found that. I don't know. But all right, let's see what the rare is. It is a trainer professor's research, and that's a holographic. It's like an old lady. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. Is that good? I don't know if that's good or not. That one's kind of a dud one, and now I have three left. All right, let's open this one. Yeah, if you look at the top of these, the last one that I got, they were like open. Like they were not sealed like this. It's from the same place. I'm not saying that they opened them, but I didn't find good cards at all on that one. I found decent cards, but nothing like this. But I know for a fact they just got these. I'm not saying that place does that, but you never know these days, man. If they're, get, if they're good enough to make it so that you can't tell, people would probably do it. It's messed up. Anyways, let's see what we got. And we have a Absol. That's a weird one. And a trainer of Rotom Phone. Another trainer, a hyper potion. I think Jeff went to sleep or something. How could he miss that? And an energy card. A trainer potion, or he's doing something, I don't know. And a trainer, it's a Pokeball. A Carvana. Ekans. And a Weedle. And the reverse is another trainer. It's a Piers. And that's a reverse. I'm going to get like the whole set of reverse, aren't I? And let's see what's, what do we have for our rare. We have a Lycanroc. And a Lycanroc 
It falls from Rock Rough. It has Rock Throw and Slashing Strike. And I have gotten this one, but it might have been from a different set. I'm not even sure. Oh. Really? Oh my gosh, I'm just upside down today. Every time I grab one of these, I keep freaking... Jeff, were you, were you here the whole time? Or did you just come back? Jeff, were you gone the whole time? Did you miss it? Is it super delayed? Oh, it is super delayed. Oh, wait, I gotta show you what I found. You're never gonna believe it. Why is it so delayed? But oh, dude, this is what I found. Yes. That's one of them that's worth $600. At least I think it is. I don't I'm 99% sure it is. But I want the other one though. I want the other one too. I'd love to be able to get two of them in one box. It's pretty lucky my second box I find a Charizard. Remember Jeff before this I was saying that I had a feeling that there was a Charizard in there. And then I had a feeling there was those Pikachus in there. The only sucky part is I don't have a feeling about the the other box. I have no no clue. I just don't have any senses of what's in there. I don't even know how those work when they're Japanese ones. They're supposed to be like a promo pack that has like a hundred sixty dollar card that I'm hoping that is in there. A trainer, a turf field stadium, and another trainer, a Milo. Another trainer, a great ball. There's a lot of trainers in this set. Another energy card. A trainer full heal. Holy sh... A scraggy. It's like a full thing of trainers. An Ekans. And a Kakuna. Nicket. And our reverse is a Lipard or Lipard. And that one is not a rare. I wonder if they even have a rare in this like type of set. And that evolves from Pure Loin. Its ability is Limber. The Pokemon can't be paralyzed, okay. As Slashing Claw. All right, let's see what our rare is going to be. It is a Galarian Obstagoon. And the Galarian Obstagoon evolves from the Galarian Lanoon. And its ability is Wicked Ruler and Knuckle Impact is its attack. And I do think I've got I've gotten this one. I don't know if it's this set. And we'll put that in one of these for now. I might put it in one of the harder ones though. I'm not worried about something happening right now, but. All right, well, this is our last chance of getting the other Charizard in one pack, which I know that, I don't know if anyone's ever gotten that, so. All right, and here's the last pack. Come on, please. Be some kind of world record or something. I don't know if someone's found both of them. I know they found both of them, they bought a bunch of them, but that doesn't really count. All right, so we have a Victini. And we got another suspicious food tin trainer. And trainer Kaboo. Energy card, a Machop, and a Nicket, a Trubbish, a Hatina, 
Rock Rough. And our verse is a Shark Pedo. I think that one's no, that one's not a rare one. Reverse. Weird. And let's see, what is our last card from Champion's Path? It is a holographic, it is a Zygarde. Didn't I get this one already? I swear I got this already. And it has Bite and Power Blast. I mean, I guess super rare to get both of them in one pack, but I did find one, so can't complain. Damn it, I won both of them, though. How crazy would that have been just to find both of them? I'll go through and go over the rare ones I found. Oh, dude, the what? The, the trainer is actually rare. What the heck? I didn't know that was rare. It's so... Oh my god, this one's rare too? What the... Oh, I got his guard, but it was the reverse one. Okay. Darn it. Things do not want to cooperate with me. I guess the energy is not rare. Darn it. Kind of cool. So I got two of the same variation in a box. Oops. More? Gotta look at these because some of them are rare and they don't seem like they would be. Probably put that one in the case, but after that. All right, so let's see what we got in the champion's path. We got a lichen rock holographic, and then we got a hatrine or hatterene. I've gotten her once, and then we got a professor's research trainer, and it's rare. I didn't know that. And another trainer it is a Marnie. And then a Gardevoir V, cool looking card. And then a, a rare reverse, we got a Zygarde, or Zygarde. Kind of looks like Dreadmouse or something. Um, a Champ. A Golarian Obstagoon. And we got another Zygarde. And this one's just a holographic one. It's not a reverse. And then we got a Lucario V. And I was going to buy that today, so I guess good then didn't. And then, of course, the Charizard V that comes with it. Not the one that we were looking for. But then we also, we got the Charizard V Max. So we got one of them we were looking for. My first rainbow card. I'm hoping to get another rainbow card in the Japanese one. But yeah, it's just amazing. I cannot believe it. All right. Set all these aside. I need to freaking fix fix this, man. This is driving me nuts. I'm like grabbing these and they're all upside down. I don't know how that happened. Okay, that was driving me crazy. I'm gonna wonder what else I'm gonna find. So here's where the, the hard part comes. <laughs> Cause now I'm gonna have to I'm either going to have to remember the Pokemon or I'm going to have to find them in the list that I have. At least there's only five per pack, so it's not like... I almost don't want to open this. But this is the last one that I was going to open, and it's one of the... It's called the Electrifying Tackle Booster Box, and it comes with 30 packs of five. 
with a rare in each one. I'm not really sure how these work. Like, I'm not sure if there's more holographics in these or how they work. But they're, they're supposed to come with a promo, so I guess we're going to open it and see if it actually does come with a promo or not. And I bought it from Amazon from a seller that's 100% positivity rate. So I'm hoping that helps me from not having packs that were, like, open and resealed. I at least would think so. It doesn't look like it's ever been opened, but... Never know. Damn, it's definitely not easy to open, though. I definitely want to save this box. Damn, man, I, I almost don't want to open this. It just has that quality to it where you don't even want to open it. You just want to hold on to the actual box. <sighs> All right. Oh, I swear if I rip this dude, I'm going to freak. That thing is just shut tight. Oh. Jeez, uh. If I damage this, I'm gonna be so mad. So, look at those packs, dude. Those are cool. Yeah, they don't look like they've been open. So, I wanna take them out. These are so much cooler than the American ones. What is that about? Why are these so much cooler? I don't get why they're so much cooler looking. So I was looking to see if there's a promo in here. And I don't think there's there is, but there's supposed to be though. That's the only sucky part. Cause usually these are supposed to come with the promo pack. And the promo pack could have a hundred sixty dollar like it's a V Max Pikachu. And it's pretty much is arms like that. And it's like a different one that you can get. And they do sell the promo packs online. They're like $10 a piece. I was thinking about buying like five of them. Because I'm getting another Japanese one like this. From a different company. And I'm hoping they might actually send me the promo. Oh, it's not in there. I guess I'll put them back. But they definitely, you can tell they haven't been open. That's for sure. Dude, look how nice the packaging is. What is that about? The American one is lame compared to that. It's like some shiny tin. I don't even know what comes in these. Too bad I don't speak Japanese. But I've got the, I've got some Japanese like some like original set or in jungle pack or jungle set. So those are pretty cool that I have, but they're not worth a lot, so I hope that these don't degrade over time and they're not worth as much. It's definitely different having there only be five in a pack. Kind of sad that I didn't get the the promo pack. I wonder why. Alright, so I don't know where to put these. Alright, let's open up the first one. So I'll have a coat on it and stuff. Dude, how do you open these and you don't screw up the package? These are different. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it lets me open it like the other one. Holy. Oh no. Well. The also, the other problem is I don't know where the rare is in this. Am I going to use the code cards? Probably not, but I don't know. So what do I... How, so my problem is I don't know where the rare is.
Huh. Weird, so... There's five cards in here. So our first one is going to be... I don't know if there's a rare in here. That's what's really confusing me. Where is he? It is a C dot. This is the number one one that we found. How come I don't see a rare in here? And our next one is a. Isn't this a Hitmon Chop? It is a. Why do I not see him in here? What the. F I don't see him in the list. Well, that's weird. Why would this be in here if it's not supposed to be in the list? What is that about? I don't see him in the list. 53. Oh, I, I see him. I'm stupid. I'm a chop. I knew it was a Machop, but I didn't see it in the actual thing. And that one, number 68. So 68, that is a Sableye. And a Trainer, it is a, a Widen Stadium. And then, I don't know if this is like the rare, because it's not, is a Charmeleon rare in this one? I don't think so. And this one is a Charmeleon. So what? These don't come with rares no matter what? Oh, I'm going to get screwed, man, if that's how this works. I don't know how these are supposed to work. Oh, man, that better not be how this works. I'm going to be pissed, dude. I'm definitely... I bought two of these, too, man. But yeah, Charmeleon, but I don't see a rare. Right? There's no rare in there. Those are all, like, normal. Oh, that's not a great way to start. I mean, they don't look like they're resealed, but... I, I thought they are supposed to have a rare in each one. Oh, man. I don't know how these work. But I thought that for sure they're supposed to be a rare. Yeah, that's... That's disappointing, if that's not how this is going to work. All right. So bear with me, because I do not know. I think this is a B drill, right? <laughs> or it's a drill bar. <laughs> a B drill. Oh, my God. Don't judge me. And here we got a, a Oshawott. I knew this would be difficult, Jeff. I just knew it. And then we have a, a, it goes by color at least, a Woobat. And then we have a, wow, a VMAX, okay. I'm changing what I said. And this one is a Golarian Darmanitan VMAX. And I can't read off what he does or like who he evolves from. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. I hate to say that. Well, I could find... Where does he evolve from? I don't see him. Maybe he's not in the list. But damn, that's a good find. My... My, uh... What is it? My second pack, and I already found one of these. There's a card behind it. What? Why is there a card behind it? And... A Galarian... Meowth, right? A Galarian Meowth? Oh, it's a Galarian Peer Seeker. Okay, I need to stop trying to guess. Already finding good ones, though. I should put that one in a case. Yeah, my chat's delayed. I don't know how much it's delayed. I don't know why it's delayed either, but it's kind of annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, to be honest. At this point. I have, like, a couple hundred or something like that. So these are weird. How come? I'm just so confused. Why would that first one I didn't have a rare? I thought that's so weird. Uh, uh, that's the weirdest thing. 
It's so weird how cool the packs are too. So it was the the what? It was the fourth. Yeah, so it was the fourth one back. How would I do that? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Whatever. These are so different. These packs are 10 times harder to open, by the way. I don't think you could even open these and reseal them like you can the other ones. The other ones are nothing compared to this. How you can just open them like they're easy so it should be the fourth one back so one two three right well i guess we'll see all right so our first trainer is anessa nice i remembered one. Oh, son of a and we have a reverse holographic, so it did not work. I don't know if it worked. We'll see. And this one is, what number is that one? Number 94. So 94 is a Leon. And I don't know what that is. Is that a reverse or it's a different kind of card? That's for sure. And I'm not sure. And we have a Milseri, right? Milseri? Yeah, Milseri. I think I screwed it up. I don't know. And then we have a a fan pee. I screwed it up, dude. And a cro or a sand dial. Man, I screwed it up. So that was like it was in the other. It was in the wrong order. It wasn't in the same order as the other one. But this is the one I found. Why are their holographics so much cooler than ours? That one actually looks like a cool looking trainer. So I guess I'll just open it because it should be the fourth one back. But I have them all numbered. Thank God they have numbers, man. That makes it so much easier. You can just look and see what they are. I need to stop trying to... Oh my gosh. So am I supposed to open them from this way? These are so much different. Oh, you're supposed to open it from that way. Oh, I didn't know that. I can't put it in the back. That's what sucks. But I guess it doesn't really matter. It'll just be the fourth one instead of the last one. Oh. So I should just do one. <laughs> right well, I guess we'll see and we have a Charmeleon it's our first one and we have a Choodle and this bird what is this bird again this bird is oh there it is it's a Taylo nice I got it okay good and then we have uh, a Woobat. And then hopefully we have a rare here. I'm not sure how this works with these packs. We have a trainer. And it's definitely not a rare. I guess some of them, you know, a telephotoscope. I guess some of them you don't get a rare. These little bastards. I didn't know that how, that's how this works. I don't like that, man. I should get a rare in every single pack. I thought for sure every pack would have a rare. Man. I hate to see that. I mean, I found a VMAX already. Oh, oh my lord. Butchering these packs, man. I do not want to butcher them. All right. Uh, 
on the number three. So this is a a shift try. And then we have a clobopus or clobopus. <laughs> and then we have a slugma. And we have a mighty Yina. And we better have a damn rare because this is gonna piss me off if we have if we don't have rares in every pack. And we have I don't know if this is a rare, but I know it is a I don't see it for some reason. There we go, it's a the Machoke. And with these, I don't know how to tell if it's an actual rare or not. That's what sucks. I don't think it is. Because Machoke and then it goes Machamp is like the main, like, highest one. All right. These are definitely so much weirder. It's so different. God, if I can preserve these packs. Too bad I don't know all the Pokemon to be easier for me. I definitely want to save those packs. And you don't get a f you'll reverse no matter what in these. That sucks. Kind of sucks. And we got a Swoobat. And... A uh, Skiddo. And a... A... They're killing me with this order. A Wismer. And a Sableye. And we got a rare. It is a... Wait, is that a Volteon or Jolteon? It's like a reverse holographic, but holographic. Let's see. That is a Zapdos. Oh, okay. That one's definitely cool. How come these are so much different? They're, they have like, it's holographic, but then it has a holographic around the whole card. It looks so much cooler than ours. Weird. I'm kind of sad because I thought that uh, you get... A rare in every single pack in these. I didn't realize that you don't. Uh, I'm gonna use a harder one than that. I'm not gonna. I don't want to have. All right. Damn. Only going through one. Two. Five so far. Oh no, six? Gone through six, we found a couple holographics. I have another one coming that's supposed to be from a different company. And I'm praying that it comes with the promo pack. I don't want to have to buy them for $10. And then seeing these, man, I bet... Do the promos even come with them? Like, they're promo packs, but... Is it just like... Maybe you'll get the promo. I just wonder how that works with those. It's kind of confusing. Japanese are definitely different than American ones. All right. So, first we have a shift try. And then we have a sheep looking kind of fella. And that one. <laughs> A cottony and a goat. I know that one. And this one is called a Puccina. And let's see, do we got a rare in this one or do we got nothing?
Rainbow Lame? What are you talking about? And we got a, another VMAX. And this one is a rainbow. It is a Golarian Darmanitan VMAX rainbow card. Wait, you could tell I got a rainbow? I wonder if that one's worth any money. I know the Japanese can be worth money. And I definitely don't think rainbows are lame. I need to figure out chat and how it's so delayed. Hey, I figured it out. I just put one card down and then I, uh, the rare should be in the back if there's a rare in it. Ow. Man, these are just not easy to open. Holy. Oh. Oh my lord in heaven. And I'm just making me butcher the packs because they won't open correctly. I want to butcher these packs. All right, why is that upside down? And the first one is a trainer. It is a memory capsule. And great, the heat went on. And a Milseri. A uh, go go. And a crocodile or sandal? Sandal. Same thing. And. I don't think that's the last card, is it? Oh, that is the last card. Okay. And I don't know if that one's rare. That one is called a ninjask. And a ninjask, I don't know if that's rare. I don't know how you tell what's rare on these cards. It's not the same as the other ones. I mean, I guess I'll put that... I don't know if I should put that in a sleeve or not. Do you think I should put that in a sleeve, Jeff? I wish it wasn't so delayed. This is annoying. I don't know if that's rare or not. I don't know if I need to put that in a sleeve. I'll just put it in a sleeve anyways, just in case. So I wonder if I found those like rainbow V Max card, if I'm not gonna find a Pikachu in this one. I wonder if that's how it works or not. I don't know. Or maybe you can find a bunch of them in this one. I don't know how the Japanese ones are so different. Oh, I wonder if I opened it flat, but that'd be easier. Fuck, man. It's killing my my finger. Come on, open. In no no universe would I ever think a rainbow card is lame, Jeff. But I want the rainbow Pikachu in this set. That's what I want. And we have a Vaporeon, right? I got that one right. Yep. Isn't that one a rare? I thought Vaporeon's a rare. And a Charmander. And I don't know what this one is. A Loudrid. I think this one evolves into an Exploud or something, right? I'm pretty sure. And then we have this green little guy. A Trubbish. And let's see if we got a rare in this one. And we got, oh, a reverse holographic Snorlax. And I know this one. And his ability is, I can't read Japanese, so I don't know. <laughs> if I could, I'd tell you, but I don't, I don't speak Japanese, so. I don't know if I should put that, I know that one's only not worth a ton. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know if the Japanese is worth more. I guess I'll put it in a Champion's Path one. But at least it's in protection. <clears throat> I wonder if you should open it from the flap, dude. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do with these. I should have watched people open these so I can see how they open them. 
but I didn't want to. I didn't want to watch them and then have it ruin it for me. Cause it like seeing what they get. Like I know what I, what I'm possibly gonna get. This is better because I don't know what I'm gonna get. But I'm trying my hardest not to ruin these packs, but these have codes too. I don't know what they're for. Like. The back of their Pokemon cards are cooler too. What the, what is that about? And so this must not be a rare because we got another one that started out with the first one, a Ninjask. And then we have a Aracuda. Oh, we have another one of these. We have the Loudred, a Ninkata. And let's see if we have a rare, because I guess we don't get one no matter what. A Drone Rotom. That is not a rare. I'm 99% sure. But I know that's a Drone Rotom. Why do I not see it? What number is this? 90? Yep, it's a Drone Rotom. But no rares in that one. Starting to get it. Thank God I thought of this idea where I just have all of them sit in front of me so I can at least look, not try to know it by heart. Eventually I will, but still kind of new with all the newer Pokemon, not the ones that are from the original in the jungle. New-ish Pokemon. All right, so we're gonna start off with a Dusclops. And a Clobopus, or Clobopus, a Dewat. Yep, I got that one right. Oh no, wait. Yeah, I got it right. Okay. And then we have a Duskull. And then let's see if we have a rare. Oh, we do have a rare. Nice. We have a V card, and it's a Drapian V. Nice, I like it. Didn't I just... I got one of those from, from Vivid Voltage, so... I got one to add to it. I'm going to put it... In. Just put it in the Vivid Voltage one. Alright. So this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Thought it'd be really hard to find them and pick them out. I wonder if I'll get a, v, a Pikachu V Max in this. That'd be awesome. I'd be happy with just a Pikachu V Max. But I don't know how this works. I don't know if you get like a V Max. Does that mean that's all you get? You get those that V Max and then that rainbow. I don't know. This one's definitely a mystery with this. How these work. And our first one is a energy card. And this is the special energy. It's a coating metal energy. And we have a Tynamo. Tynamo. And another D-Watt. And we have an Eevee. I've always liked that card. And do we got a rare? And we do not. We have a Barathorn, and that's not a rare. Those mother... Making me think that they had one in every pack. It's all trick. Ow. At least let me find at least a Pikachu V in this. That'd be cool. I cannot even open these. Or a full art Pikachu. That'd be dope to have another one. Add another full art one to my my collection. This one better be a rare. <laughs> the first one we find is this guy. A Feral Thorn. 
This one's not rare. Why are we at the back? Slugma. And that one is... Nowhere to be found. Uh, Nuzleaf. And then we have a Talo. And we have the rare. And this one actually is a rare, finally. Thank you. This one's a non-holographic rare, though. And it is a Mudsdale. So it's my first non-holographic rare I found in, in these packs. I hope there's not many. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with holographic, so I prefer them to all be holographic. They're rare. Oh, jeez. Hey, can finally open the open it right or what? All right, so we're going to start out with a telescope photo scope. And then we have this guy again. It is a crocker rock. And we have Trudel here. And a Skiddo. And let's see if we have a rare in this. Come on, be something good, please. Be a Pikachu V Max or be a Pikachu or I can't even tell what's behind there, so I don't even know what it is. It is a Golarian, right? It is a Golarian Darmanitan V. I have his whole set in this one. Yeah, it's a Golarian Darmanitan V. Definitely a cool card. I don't know. I'll at least put it in this. By the end of this, I'll have be an expert at opening these. Hopefully. Oh. Now I gotta... When I open the Japanese one on Christmas, I gotta get those promo packs so at least i'll have a promo pack and then i can open it and see i kind of want to get like five or something i can open at least like five of them and see if i get that pikachu or not but at this rate i feel like you get normal cards and then maybe you would get a good card or something all right so we're starting off with this guy and he is a don fan And we have a Blitzel, a Japanese Blitzel. And we have, I don't know why I'm not remembering this one, Nuzleaf. A Hitmon Top. And let's see if we have a rare. And it is a Aegis Slash V Max. And I do have this one in the American version. Nice. So you can find multiple VMAXs in a box. You don't find that in the American ones. That's for freaking sure. Come on, Pikachu. Where are you? Where art thou, Pikachu? I'm going to take them all out and see how many I have left. I like to see how many I have left. Definitely have a lot left, that's for sure. So, I have... So I'm halfway there. 
So I've opened 15, now I have 15 left. So there's still a chance. I bet you anything that I'm going to find a Galarian Darmanitan V full art in this set. I'm guaranteeing it right now. Betting right now. Not not this one, but it's going to be in here somewhere. I'm just guessing. They want me to have the whole set <laughs> of that guy. But I want the whole Pikachu set. I don't want the whole Galarian set. And then here we go. We have a Machoke. And I don't think that one's rare. It's the one right before the rare, the evolution. And then a Hitmon top. A Pharaoh Seed, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's a Pharaoh Seed. And then we have a Mighty Yina. Yeah. And then do we have a rare or do we have nothing? Let's just see. Hey, we don't have a, a rare. We have a trainer, and this one is the League Staff trainer. And is not holographic. Those little mother truckers. They could at least put a rare in each pack. I thought for sure that's how this worked. I thought for sure you get a rare in every pack. That's why I was like, oh my god, you get 30, 30 rares. That was definitely too good to be true. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that's how it worked. But if I would have watched a video, I would have been able to tell that's not how it works. But oh well. All right, so let's see. Our first card we have. It is a Electros. We haven't gotten him yet. And a Skitty. Or a Skiddo. I was close. I need to stop trying to guess. <laughs> I'm trying a Cramorant. And then another Wismer. And let's see if we got a rare. Please give me something. Something rare. It is an Aegis slash V. He's definitely a weird Pokemon. So I'm getting the Aegis slash V set. All right. And I have not seen a single Pikachu yet or Charizard, but I think there's only, there's only one Charizard in the set. But I want to see the Pikachu VMAX. That's what I want to see. I'd like another one of those, please. I, wanna, I don't want to buy it for 15 bucks, that's for sure, from Japan. Might not ever get it. And let's see, our first one is going to be a Don Fan. And a Swellow. And we have a Trubbish, a Excadrill, and I know this one because I've seen him so much, he's definitely a common, but that's not the last card. So the last card is a non-holographic, a non-rare, it's a Barascuda. Man, it's kind of, ah. Oh. It's like you just, ugh, I don't know. I don't know what I think about the Japanese one yet. I love it like when you know there's a rare because you know like for a fact it's gonna be a rare card. This is definitely different. I know, I guess we'll see what we get in this pack and then see if I'll buy another one because I was thinking about buying three of them total and seeing what I get. All right, so we have this weird one, and that one is a Garbador, ugly ass one. Isn't this a Shelmet? It's a C dot, <laughs> and a Clavopus, boxing octopus, and then another Swellow, 
Now we're at the rare, and the rare is a Pikachu V. Yes, found a Pikachu finally. Hey, this this is actually good because when I found the other ones, there was a whole set. There was the Galarian, Darmanitan V, and the V Max, and then there was also Egg Slash V Max and an Egg Slash uh, V. So this is a trend. This is a cool Pikachu too. I wonder if that's the same as the one I. Have. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'm putting this one in case to tell you that. You know what that means? That means we're going to find a Pikachu VMAX at least. It could be the rainbow one. We did find the Darmanitan rainbow one. I mean, these are fun. It's like a different change of the way it is compared to just normal uh, American cards. Damn it. I like this just as much as American cards. <laughs> and they're cool looking. I feel like they're, they're, they have a different art style to them than the American ones. The packs specifically, like look how cool these packs look. They're like holographic, just the packs. What is up with ours? Why are they slacking? Cause look, look at ours. Those, I mean, I'm not saying they're terrible. It's just not, it's just not as good. I mean, there's just no two ways about that. All right. So, our first one is going to be a Alcremi. 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 Uh, oh, I can't speak. An Alcremi. <laughs> Having issues. And then we have. Son of a biscuit. We have Son of a Biscuit, yeah. Can't find him, there he is. Uh, Mudbray. I should know that one. I really should know that one. And then we have a Charmander. If I didn't know that one, I'd be fired from this. And then another Trubbish. And then our rare is going to be a Reverse Whalmer Holographic. I know this one. Our whale lord. Oh my gosh. It's a whale lord holographic. <laughs> I'm the worst at guessing these, aren't I? Don't let me down. I know for a fact we have like two different egg slashes. We got to have another Pikachu. At least, at least I wouldn't mind the full art Pikachu. Another one of those. That'd be cool. I prefer the rainbow one. I'd love to get, even if it was Japanese, man, I'd love to get a Japanese rainbow one. That means I'd find two crazy rares in all the sets that I found. Or all the sets I've gone through today. And let's see. We have an octopus. It's a Graplocked. I thought that's a rare, no? I thought a Graplock is a rare. Maybe not. I thought it was a rare. And then a Dust Skull. And a Galarian Meowth. Right? Or no, am I wrong? No, I'm right. Okay. I'm right about that one. And then a Nincata. And then we have maybe a rare card. What do we have here? I don't know. We have a holographic. And this one is a dust nor. And that's a holographic. And that one is a non pricey holographic. Cool one, nonetheless. I can't believe how long this has been. I've been streaming for two hours. I'm not even opening as many packs as I did before. Oh yeah, when I did each each like uh, each uh, booster box, it took me over uh, two hours a piece. So yeah, that's gonna be fun editing. At least I did the other one live, so I don't really have to edit it. Starting off with a Jolteon, 
That's a rare. What the heck? Why is there Jolteon in here? Yeah, it's a Jolteon rare, non-holographic. What the... Uh... And a Whalmer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Whalmer. And a fish. What is this fish? It is a... A Tynamo. Tynamo. I don't know if there is code cards with these ones. Oh, like the other ones. A Eevee. And then, I don't know, the Jolteon was in a different spot, and that's a rare, so I don't know if we're going to have a rare. A Flareon. That's a rare, too. What the? So I found two rares, a Jolteon and a Flareon in the same pack. I should put those in a sleeve, at least, and then I ran out of sleeves. Darn it. What do I do with that Jolteon? I know for a fact that's a rare. I'm gonna put those in a harder sleep. Ah. Shit. Oh my god, I should have taken I should have stretched, dude. I'm my legs are killing me. Oh. So that's a good find. A Flareon and a Jolteon in the same pack. That's awesome on that one. Should put those in a harder case though. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more packs left. Eight more chances to get a Pikachu. I've already got a Pikachu V, so, I mean, that's gotta be pointing towards something. I had so many Galarian Darmanitans that I should find a Pikachu somewhere. Oh my gosh, dude, they make these so hard to open. I don't even think that someone could open these and reseal them. There's impossible to open. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I kind of like that because you don't want them to be able to open them and seal them easily like they can with American ones. All right. Do I got a rare? And I have this guy. <laughs> Where's this guy? It's a croco crocodile or a crocodile. I mean, it is a crocodile. We're saying what it really is. And then a Toodle. And this is the evolvation of the other one. It's a Z or the Zeb Strika or Zeb Strika. Huh. That's a different one. And then a Talo. And then I think we're at the the rare, and there is no rare. It is a energy card, a special energy, a wash water energy. Boo! <laughs> Boo in that one, what the? I actually thought there was rares, man, that's crazy. I thought for sure there'd be a rare in every single pack. I mean, I did get a Jolteon and a Flareon in one pack. All right, that was a cool one. There's supposed to be a thing called a God Pack where it's like, it's like, a rare and or ten rares in the pack, and supposedly there's such thing and it's out there. All right, we're starting off with this sheep. <laughs> it's a no wait no, it's a whims of Scott and a a mag cargo a splitzel. Hey, we got this one. This is the one that Jeff was talking about that's pronounced differently. <laughs> and I'm not seeing it. It's a Chimecho or Chimecho? Chimecho? Oh, well, whatever it is. Chimecho. I think it's a Chimecho. That's what we're calling it. And we got a rare in here. We have a holographic Charizard. What in the world? Dude, that's got to be rare. Oh my god. I don't know how rare this is. I don't know. But it's a damn Charizard. Any Charizard is usually worth money, so... I'm definitely putting that in a freaking... hard case right away. That was a cool find. I definitely did not expect that to be a Charizard. 
And there's only one Charizard in this whole entire set, so that's insane. And it's a holographic one. Ow. Oh, you... Oh, gosh. My hands are going to be so sore. These packs are the hardest packs I've ever tried to open. It's insane. I'm dwindling down with how many packs I have to open. All right, a memory capsule trainer is where we're going to start out here. And a Voltorb. See, if it's the original ones, I know what they are. Milseri. Getting better. Charmander. And we're to our, our rare or non-rare in the way this stuff works. And let's see what we have. What could we have here? I'm looking at the whole list and seeing all of them. I don't know if these have like a secret rare or not, but all right, let's see what we got. It's a Voltorb. And that's a holographic. That's dope. Oh wait, not a Voltorb. I'm screwing that one up. It is a... <laughs> Electrode, oh my God. That's what I meant, Electrode. I've always liked this one though. I don't know if I should put that one in a hard case or not. So I know the American Electrode's not worth a ton. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five packs left, dude. Five packs and five cards. <sighs> I better find a Pikachu, man. I know I found great cards so far, but I really want to find a Pikachu in this. And we got kind of screwed. We didn't get the promo promo pack that's supposed to come with these. I don't know why. At least that's how it used to work. You used to be able to get the promo packs with these. Maybe that's like different. And these don't... These have the codes on the pack. I don't know how the, the Japanese ones work, though. All right, so here we go. And we have to start off. It is a Sumerat. It's a Sumerat, that's right. Sumerat, or Sam Samurat. Samurat, there we go. I don't know why I was reading it like that. And then we have a Barascuda. Oh no, wait, uh, an Aracuda. I'm screwing it up now. Excadrill. This one definitely has a lot of like, really high HP though, even though it's really common. And then a Slugma. And do we have a rare? We do not have a rare, but we have a trainer card here. And it is a B. B-E-A, so it's a B. I don't think that's rare. I'm not putting that one in a sleeve. And we only have four packs left. Oh, dear Lord. Man, I, I would love to find a V-Max. That's, that's really what I want is a Pikachu V-Max. I don't care about the rainbow one. The rainbow one would be awesome, of course, but but if I got the normal one, it'd be just as awesome to me. <sighs> we have a Swoobat to start it off. And I'm, I better make sure because I don't want to look stupid by saying the wrong one. Yeah, but Swoobat. And we have this odd-looking whale guy. And that one is a electric. And a Wismer. And we have another one of these, a Sandile. And I think that's our rare. It is a, I know this guy. I just can't remember him at the moment. It is a Dreadnought, so that's definitely a rare. But that's a non-holographic one. Damn it, man. I still haven't found a Dreadnought that's a holographic. Or have I? I can't remember. I should put the rares in like one of these hard packs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in a hard pack. 
I'll always switch it eventually. So we have three packs left to get a Pikachu. I don't know if we're gonna do it this time. I got another pack on the way, so. Maybe that one will be luckier. That one I'm gonna open like on Christmas though. I was gonna open a few different ones on Christmas Day. Be fun to do. This one, I don't know. We have an X Bloud. I thought an X Bloud is rare. I thought that was a rare. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's a rare, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have another Crocker Rock. And we have a barrel seed. I'll get these eventually. And then a Oshawott. And this is where, oh, we got another one, another Dreadmaw, non-holographic. So a repeat of the same one. Now I'm putting this one in one of these. This one does not deserve a better sleeve. Oh, come on, for the love of God. I thought for sure I'd get a Pikachu in this one. These are definitely, oh. Only two more chances to know. We got a super rare card. I think the rainbow is a super rare card, though. And we first are going to start off with a trainer. And this trainer looks like it's some type of hot tub. It's a Harold's Bath. Doesn't look like a hot tub to me, but whatever they have to say about that. And we have an electric in again. And a Dilber. And this little guy, uh, Cottony. And then let's see what we got for our rare, if we got one or not, because these don't come with one. We have a Machamp. And I'll be really mad if I mess that one up. Yep, it's a Machamp, okay. Machamp holographic. Nice, so now I have the American one and the Japanese one. I'll just put these in a hard one. So I only have one more chance to get a Pikachu. I bet you, <laughs> I don't even want to do that. I don't want to jinx myself. I'm guessing this is going to be a non-rare, but I'd love for it to prove me wrong. You can't tell with the weight with these either, so that kind of sucks. You can't like, oh, this one's, this one's super rare. This one, it's got to have something special. You can't really tell. All right. And we're starting off with a Why do I not see this one? I don't see this one. What the heck? 42. A uh, she dinja. Could not find that one. And then I wish I knew all these. A Puccina? And then we got his little brother, a Machop. So a Machamp we just found. And then a Voltorb. And here's our last card, so it's our last chance to see if we get anything rare. And we got a non-rare. And we got a Barascuda. And this one's a non-rare. Dude, I swear to God, Explow is a rare card. And with these, I don't know how to tell which ones are rare or not. I swear an X-Plat is a rare card. It was out of order, though, for some reason. Order does seem kind of weird. In the Japanese one, for sure. Not saying that it was, like, amber with or anything. I'm just saying it's definitely a weird order. It's not in perfect order like the American one. But I'm going to go through and grab all the rares and show which ones I got. Let's 
Different pile. I don't think this one's rare. I don't think this one's rare. This one's not rare. But before I didn't know that wasn't the rare one. So this one's kind of similar to the American version, the way this works. Very similar. Hard to get. Different. Two of these, don't. I'll put the egg slash in a case. I don't want to put the other ones in. Also, we're going to go through all the rares that I got in the, the Vivid Voltage Japanese version. Oh yeah, this is going to be kind of hard if I don't remember the names. And here we're going to start out with an Exploud. <laughs> and a Mudsdale. Let's see how good my memory is. A Volteon. Jolteon. Oh my gosh, I'm... Butchering myself with jolting on. <laughs> and then a Flareon. And then a Dreadmaw. We got two Dreadmaws in this one. They're non holographics. And then we got a Machamp. Holographic. And we got an Electrode. I don't get why the Japanese one looked better. I don't get it. And then we got a whale, whale lord, is this one. And then this guy, I don't remember this one, the purple one. It's a Dusknor. I think I've gotten two of these. I got a reverse and a, and a holographic one, an American. And then this one's awesome, a Zapdos. There's not a lot of Zapdos cards out there now. They're mainly the old school one. I don't have an old school Zapdos, sadly. I used to. And then I got a holographic trainer. And this one was the. I'll have to look at the, the number. It's a Leon. So it's a Leon trainer. Holographic. And then I got a Snorlax. Holographic. And then I got a Charizard holographic. I wonder if this is worth any money. I know. I swear the reverse holographic and vivid voltage for this one would be worth a lot or at least a decent amount of money And then I got one of these I got a Drapion V And then a Darmanitan or no a Galarian Darmanitan V And then an Aegis Slash V I haven't gotten the Egg Slash V actually, like the American one, so that's my first one. On. And then I found a Pikachu V. Sadly, no other siblings or upgraded ones from the V, but I found a Pikachu V at least. And I found Egg Slash V Max. And I actually did find this one in American version. And I found, I think it was my first Elite Trainer Vivid Voltage box that I found it. And then I got a Galarian. Manitan V Max, and then my ultra rare I got in this pack is another Galarian Darmanitan V Rainbow V Max. So that's cool. At least I got a rainbow card. I don't know if you get one no matter what or how it works with these, but at least I got one. But yeah, I don't know if I should go through all of them. I don't know if I should go through all of them, but. All right, well, I appreciate you guys watching. And on Christmas Day, I know for a fact, I'll be opening up another Japanese Vivid Voltage like this. And then I'll be opening up a normal Vivid Voltage. And maybe by that time, I'll actually order some of the promo cards. You can buy like a promo pack, which is the same. It's the Vivid Voltage like this. And it's the promo pack that's supposed to come with it in the first place. So I'm kind of confused why it didn't. But it's a promo pack. And there is five or six i think there's six different promos that you can find and one and there's 
I think they're all Pikachus, to be honest. They're all Pikachus. And there's one that's like the VMAX of the American one, and that one's worth $160 right now, so I'm hoping that I'll find that. But anyways, I, I appreciate you guys watching, and subscribe so you can be ready and, and watch with me and see what I get. And thanks so much for watching.